All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. If you can't already tell from watching my channel, you know that I love experiments. Here's our first egg. And I especially love any type of small scale DIY science experiment that you can do at your house with just regular household items. I really love that kind of stuff. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you a few of my personal favorite DIY science experiments. All right, so for our first experiment, all you need is white vinegar, baking soda, some type of a pitcher or a cup, and a candle. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this baking soda and this vinegar inside this pitcher. They'll, they'll react and foam up. And when they do that, it will produce carbon dioxide, which is a gas that is heavier than air, so it will remain inside this pitcher. And then we will be able to take that gas and pour it into this cup. And then we'll be able to take this cup that is full, now full of the carbon dioxide and pour it onto our candle. And since there's no oxygen in carbon dioxide, our candle will go out. So our first step is just gonna be pouring some baking soda inside this pitcher. There's no exact science. It's just kinda however much you can put in here without Without it overflowing the pitcher, we'll go ahead and light our candle. See our candle's lit. Now we take some of our vinegar, pour it in here, and it's gonna foam up as you can see. I'm just gonna let this sit and foam up. Now we're just gonna take this, and we're gonna pour just the gas into our cup. And then we can take our cup and pour the gas on our candle and it goes out. That's very simple and easy and that's honestly one of my favorite science experiments. All right, now this one is another one of my favorites. What's gonna happen is I'm going to blow this candle out and then wait for there to be a single string of smoke. And then I can take the lighter and light that smoke and the smoke will catch on fire and act as a wick and it'll follow itself all the way back down to the to the wick of the candle and it'll light it back on fire. Don't ask me how this works. I don't have any idea. I just know that it does and I know that it's really cool. And this is probably one of the most simple ones that you can do and if you're gonna do it, you need to make sure that you're in an area where there's very, very little airflow or else the smoke will just kind of disperse and it won't work. Let's give it a shot. You can see that I didn't touch the lighter to the, to the actual wick. It traveled down the smoke. Although that one I had to be kind of close for. Let's see if we can get it farther away. See if we can do it a third time, get it pretty far away. Cause that's when it's really cool. So whenever it gets really far away. You guys see that? How cool is that? I love that one. All right guys, so this next one is gonna be a little bit more dangerous. And if you're under 18, oh. I would say don't do this by yourself. And mm. if you're over 18 and you are old enough to make your own decisions, by all means, go for it. But what we're gonna be doing is it's gonna be kind of the same reaction as the baking soda and vinegar, how it reacted and it made carbon dioxide. What we're gonna do is mix yeast and hydrogen peroxide, and it's gonna create oxygen instead of carbon dioxide. So what we're gonna do, you just need a jar and drill a hole in the lid so it doesn't pressurize. And then just take some yeast, take about half a spoonful of yeast, put it in your jar, and you wanna take some peroxide, dump it in your jar, and then put the cap on. And you're gonna let that sit. And while that foams up, then you go ahead and take your popsicle stick and your blowtorch. Now, whenever I dip this popsicle stick into this jar where it has oxygen in it, you're gonna be able to see this flame get much, much brighter. You see the difference? How much brighter it got whenever I first dipped it in there? And now for our final experiment, what we're going to be making is we're going to be making oobleck. 
Now I'm sure some of you already know what oobleck is, but for those that don't, it is just a mixture of two parts cornstarch to one part water. And what this makes is a non-Newtonian fluid. In simple people terms, a non-Newtonian fluid is just a fluid that changes its viscosity depending on force. I don't have a measuring cup, which I might regret, but whatever. So I have my cornstarch. I'm just gonna do about, uh, about that much. And then mix in some water. Take a spoon, mix it in. I actually think I have a little bit too much water, but we'll just add some more cornstarch. Now it's starting to thicken up like it should. I think it's time to get my hands in here. Actually, it's gonna need just a little bit more water. All right, so now you can kind of see what, what makes this oobleck unique is that you can scoop some of it up. Like you can scoop it up and then it'll just, if you hold still, it'll just run right off your fingers and run into the bowl, kind of like, a, kind of like slime. But if it's in the bowl and you hit it, it doesn't, you see how it doesn't splatter really? It just firms up and it's kind of like a rock. Cause you can. See how it changes its viscosity? You know, you can kind of pick it up, let it run off of it. And then immediately you can punch it and it doesn't splatter out of the bowl like water would or anything like that. But like where I spilled it here on the table, I can hear it run, running down through that crack. All right, I just brought the camera over here because I wanted to give you a better look at this. You can see how much like slime it is. And it'll just run right through your fingers. And you can see. And even if you grab it real fast, you can see you can get grab big chunks of it. And it just goes right back to liquid. This is one of those things that's really really just mesmerizing. You could really just sit here and play with it for just hours. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. I want you to leave a comment down below. What is your favorite science experiment? And then in another video, I might do two or three more science experiments and one of them just might be yours. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.